Topographic maps, or contour maps, can be a useful aid for planning new banana farms and making improvements on existing farms. These maps show topography or type of terrain in an area. Being able to read this type of map means you can take the guesswork out of determining the steepness of slopes, the size of catchments, and the distance that water can flow from ridges to drainage lines. This helps with planning to ensure the correct location of infrastructure and row directions to provide good drainage and to minimise soil erosion. So, what are contour maps? Contour maps show the three-dimensional landscape on a flat surface. The contour lines on the map are level lines joining points on the land's surface that are all the same height above or below a known reference point or datum. The most common datum used is the height above sea level. By plotting contour lines at regular heights above sea level, a complete picture of the landscape can be constructed. Making sense of a contour map is much easier if it is an overlay on an aerial photograph of the familiar landscape. It is easy to see where the ridge lines and depressions, or drainage lines are, and where the land is steeper or flatter. Without this base, you may have to rely on mapping conventions to determine which way is up. Normally, the heights marked on the contour lines increase in size with increasing height above sea level. Remember that contour numbering reads uphill. In other words, the top of the number is uphill and the bottom is downhill. You can use the contour map to understand where the ridges and drainage lines are on the land. Obviously, water will run downhill. Water will flow at right angles to the contour lines unless directed by some feature such as crop mounds, wheel tracks or dense vegetation. Since a contour line connects points that are the same height above sea level, directly uphill or downhill is at a 90 degree angle to the contour lines. A drainage pattern can be developed by drawing lines pointing downhill at right angles to the contour lines. These lines will converge on the drainage line. At first glance, ridges and drainage lines can look very similar. However, both represent different landforms. If you look at the feature running across the middle of this shot and you imagined yourself walking from A to B, you'd start at a height of 233, walk down to 225 and then back up the hill to 233 on the other side. So you can see that it is a gully. The lower point in the crossing is a part of a drainage line. If you look at the feature above this, which has a farm road and fence line, and imagine walking from A to B, you'd start at a height of 227, walk up to a height of 235, and then back down steeply. So this is a ridge line, with the high point being at 235. Drainage lines have water concentrating to them, while water flows away from ridges. A ridge, then, is a natural barrier that separates catchments. By convention, drainage lines are drawn on maps as long, curvy, tailed arrows, while ridges are drawn as dashed lines. The slope of the land. For most soil conservation or drainage situations, the easiest way to describe slope is as a percentage. A 1% slope or gradient means there is a rise or fall of 1 metre in 100 metres. An appreciation of the relative steepness of land, represented by a topographic map, can be quickly gained by looking at the spacing of the contour lines. The closer the contour lines are together, the steeper the land is. In this image, you can see the gentle slopes of the open grazing fields. The relatively flat area upon which the house sits and the steep falls at the bottom of the screen down into the treed gullies. When comparing the natural slope of the land, the slope directly downhill is always used. However, the average slope between any two points on a topographic map can be determined in the following way. Start by working out the height difference between two points on the slope, or the rise. In this example, you can see that that point A is at 5 metres and point B is at 15 metres. Therefore, there is a 10 metre rise between points A and B. Next, you need to calculate the distance between the two points. In this example, the run is 9.5 metres, which we get by measuring the distance with a ruler. To get the gradient, divide the rise by the run to get 1.05. To convert this to a percentage, we multiply it by 100. 
When you do this with a real topographic map, you need to remember to consider the scale at which the map is printed. On this farm, you can see that there is a 10 metre rise between 190 metres and 200 metres between the two points identified. Next, you need to calculate the distance or run between the two points. To do this, you will need to know the scale of the map you are looking at. For example, on a scale of 1 is to 10,000, every centimetre is equal to 10,000 centimetres, or 100 metres on the ground. In this map, the distance has been measured as 60 metres. To calculate the slope, divide 10 by 60 to get 0.166 recurring. Then multiply this by 100 to convert it to a percentage. As you see in our example on the slope of this land is 16.67%. So, a fairly substantial slope. It can also be referred to as 16.67 in 100. Banana growers in far north Queensland who would like a topographic map of their own farm can contact the Australian Banana Growers Council via their website or email bmp at abgc.org.au or by phone on 0437 241 687. Alternatively, anyone in Queensland can create their own map via the Queensland Government QTOPO website. However, the contour scale will be coarser than what the ABGC can provide for growers.